Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel Dash Princess Things. In this HTML tutorials, we have seen many things till now about the HTML colors, CSS, and images, tables, many things we have seen till now. If you didn't watch those videos, go back to my channel and see this see see that playlist and go through those videos. Uh, now we are dealing all about HTML block and inline elements. Let's know what about uh, let's know everything about block elements and inline elements. Uh, HTML has some block elements and inline elements. What is the example and uh, uh, things called block elements and what are the things called inline elements? We can see in this uh, uh, coming few minutes. So stay tuned to this uh, video. So every HTML elements have a default uh, display value. Like depending upon what type of element that is, it has a default display value. So these two display values are uh, divided into two types. That is a block and inline. Uh, what is meant by a block element block level elements in this HTML? Let us understand first about that. Uh, block level elements. Uh, block level elements always start with a new line. Uh, some block level elements always start with a new line, not in that uh, uh, already defined line. It takes a new line. A uh, block level elements always takes up a full full width available. Uh, it takes the entire width of that uh, line or uh, everything that space. Uh, it full width it takes. Uh, stretch out from left to right as far as it can so you can see this here an example of a block element this is the block element which is a uh, uh, from full width of uh, from uh, left to the uh, right part it stretches up up to left and right as far it can uh, so block elements takes a new line and block elements has a top and bottom margin you can see here top and bottom margin whereas inline elements doesn't have this block level elements only have a margin of top and uh, bottom but whereas inline elements what we can say doesn't have this uh, uh, border lines so uh, we can say so this is the example of the block level elements how we can identify and how can we use this block level elements by using this tag called div tag div element we have a div element it is a block level element we can uh, example of block level element is div element by using this div tag or div element we can uh, give a specified uh, content in that element then it will uh, consider it as a block level element that is uh, the three things will happen block elements start with a new line and block elements takes up a full width available there that is uh, from left to right it takes uh, as far as it can the width will be uh, that block and block elements have a margin of top and bottom uh, whereas inline elements doesn't have the example of this block level elements is a div uh, which is a hello world i have given here this is an example of a block level element we can have here in the div uh, we can also apply stylings to the div which is a block level element uh, the, i'm giving a styling border of one pixel solid black we can say hello world here we get the example or as output the div element is a block element you can see the, the div element this is the hello world is a div element which is called as a block element and it will start with a new line as we see in block elements when start with a new line and take up the full width available there that is stretches out from left to the right as far as can uh, the full uh, the full div element will affect uh, whatever uh, the things we have done here i'm not only giving a border but i can also give a background here likewise uh, we can have whatever we have given styling so it will apply a whole border i'm giving a background as a color it will be um, what i can give i can give a blue color so you can observe the things right um how sorry background it doesn't give in background now you can observe the output here a background color sorry background color i'm specifying background color as blue you can see the background the entire div element will be affected because i'm applying style to the div element which is the uh, from the part starting part to the ending part it stretches out from left to right as far as it can and takes the available full width and starts up a new line we can also apply different div element also uh, after this like I'm uh, giving this div element um, another div. Let's see how it will look like. I'm changing the color it has a, as a, what I can give. I'm giving as a black color. Let's see how this div element will be. You can see div element like this. I can also give a, a color here. The text will be uh, here back color because the text also black. So it is not visible. I'm making the text as white color. Let's see how, how it will look like. Like you can see the make the color text we can see. So like the things will go on. This is the uh, block level uh, element which is by using a div tag. 
by using div tag we can define a block level elements and also we have different block level elements like address tag and uh, article tag si tag blackboard canvas and dd div word dl and field set and many more things are we can see here examples of block level tags next understand about a uh, inline tag what is meant by inline elements means inline elements doesn't start a new line it takes that a uh, particular line only in which line they are in the uh, they take the that line only they doesn't go to the new line inline elements all only takes up as, as much width uh, as necessary it is only the width necessary because uh, uh, it doesn't uh, unlike uh, block level elements as block level elements takes the entire width as far as it can from left to right uh, but uh, inline elements takes only the much available space only it doesn't take too much of space it just take the width as necessary uh, it requires uh, like this is a span element by using span a span tag we can uh, uh, define an inline element so this is a span tag uh, we have a open and a closing span tag in that we can specify the content which you have it takes only the content space which we uh, they need so this is the span element inside a paragraph you can see this is the span element inside a paragraph let's try this example then you get a clarity on that this is the uh, paragraph in which i am giving a span in which a hello element not like a div you can see here i am giving a border of one pixel solid black if you didn't give this it will uh, doesn't affect uh, you can't observe the difference there you can see here i am giving a span uh, nothing will be different we can just give it uh, takes a line like that if you uh, specify the specific uh, things there uh, then you can find out the difference there like also you can uh, give uh, uh, similarly we have done uh, previously we can give color that is color of the text as uh, blue you can give then the text will look like a blue color then the difference will be there to these things so likewise the span means it takes the uh, width necessary up to that uh, uh, which how much space it necessary it needs uh, it takes that space only not the entire from left to right the span elements in an inline element uh, unlike as a block elements the contracts to that block elements but div element we have a span element this is an inline element and it will not start by a new line it also takes up the as such width as it necessary does it it necessary a uh, space which is uh, required for the hello world it takes that much of space only not extra space it takes it just takes the ne uh, space necessary for that so examples of inline elements are we can have a var a map object output q and spam script and these are the examples for an inline elements let's understand about the div tag in a brief manner the div element is often used as a container for other html elements so we can also use div as a container element and next div elements have a required attributes we can also use the add different uh, css attributes or many things in the div element like style attribute and class attribute and id as a common we have can use style id a uh, class attributes in the div element and uh, when we use it together with css the div element can be used to styling blocks of the content we can also uh, apply stylings to, uh, to this div element also like this example you can see i am giving style attribute with the uh, property of background color and color and padding also we can apply different types of styling uh, uh, properties we can apply by using the style attribute in the div element uh, so you can see the div means uh, in the div we can also specify different things like paragraph and many things we are just taking it as a division for that uh, we, entire division will be look like this the entire background color we can give and different types of things we can give here so this is all about a uh, uh, block level block level uh, element and next span element we have uh, which is an inline element uh, in this span we can inline container we can say or uh, use it to mark up a part of the text or a part of document small small parts we can uh, make it by using this span element span element has no required attributes uh, but style like class and id are common uh, no specific uh, attributes and uh, these things are common we use it this uh, along with the css we can also apply styling for this uh, span attribute span tag also so this is the uh, normal example in which we have a given a span of uh, uh this i am giving just highlighting the particular uh, span of content we can say by using the span attribute like you can say i am uh, highlighting the blue color by specifying it as a particular span i am giving the color blue and font uh, width is bold so likewise we can give and also making a, a dark green as a span under the span i'm specifying dark green in that i am giving a color text color as a dark olive green and width uh, font width uh, will be a bold so that we can uh, highlight the things in the particular content by using this span tag which is an inline element tag
in level uh, inline level element we have seen about a block and inline level elements in the block means div element and next uh, inline elements are uh, uh, done by using this span tag so this is all about uh, two display values which is uh, discussed till now so only div tag and span tag we can apply uh, make your website look uh, attractive by using this block level and inline level elements so that's all for today all about uh, html block and inline elements so if you like this video give a big thumbs up below and if you have any uh, queries regarding to these things so uh, you can feel free in comment in the comment section we will definitely reply to your comments if you want to add any suggestions to our videos you can uh, feel free to uh, suggest us in the comment section we will definitely uh, make use of your suggestions and uh, if our friends are in search of any dev web developers i suggest this website and suggest our videos so that they can easily learn uh, keep uh, learning and keep sharing and uh, so bye bye that's all for today thanks for watching subscribe to my channel for many more videos like this bye bye